welcome back to our channel so today we are going to tackle the guest bedroom and we have decided that we want to do wainscoting here similar to what we did in our uh, home office so we are going to do half wainscoting and it's going to look really nice wainscoting is such an easy way to upgrade your room and make it look more expensive we are also going to install some hot lights here if you haven't checked our video uh, that we did on how to install your own pot lights you can check it out we'll leave the uh, link over here um, and this room is just going to get upgraded as you can see it's just the blank canvas now so we're so excited and let's begin pot lights in the room have been installed so we have installed four pot lights and gets connected to the same wall fixture. Um, next, we'll be starting with the wainscoting now. So for the wainscoting, we will be using the same baseboard. So this is uh, the baseboard uh, which we got from Home Depot, cut it to size. This comes in per feet um, and we will be installing it upside down. It will go something like this on the wall. Uh, we'll just measure it and um, use a straight line next we will be cutting uh, inside 45 uh, angle on this baseboard so this is a mitre box which we have used for our previous projects also uh, we do have mitre saw but it just creates a lot of dust and it's very bulky so we prefer using mitre saw for a small project uh, it comes with these two stoppers and this uh, this one has a lot of options so like you see over here this is a zero degree like a straight cut then we have i believe 22 degree and then a 45 degree but this is a inside 45 degree right here and uh, this has a lot of uh, options here to put the stopper so wherever i have to make a cut i just place the baseboard and on the nearest hole I place this stopper and just rotate it so that it gets locked and then with my saw which comes with this I'll put this in the wedge here and then we will make a cut. And this is how our inside 45 looks like. So placing it right on the edge and purposely we have put the baseboard upside down. Um, yeah, just placing it on the line here. And with a pencil and just mark the edge and then we'll give a final straight cut before we attach it to the wall. the back of the baseboard um, some wood glue so not a lot of wood glue just enough so that it can hold it in place along the line we will just in put this baseboard and we have a brad, um, we have a brad nader. so this is an 18 inch brad nader and I have put in some 1 1 4 inch um, brad nails just few nails
so the this part is done and now we have to build the frames so we just got this simple picture molding it's thick on one side thin on the other so we'll make a picture frame uh, we'll make boxes over here so we are going to cut this into size and then we're going to use this old piece of shiplap for um, the distance so we're going to maintain this distance from the top from the bottom and in between the boxes we've done all of the calculation and seen how many boxes you need it doesn't have to be a perfect square we some of ours is rectangles based on the wall we have like this wall is a smaller wall so there's only one longer one um, so based on the size of your wall it can be different and it looks just as great as it would if it were the same so uh, we keep it simple and we'll just start with cutting this with um, the angles and building out the frames We have done all of the frames and this is what it looks like and before we start to paint we have to do some prep work and as you can see there are some holes here from where we put the nail gun so we have to fill those holes there's some gaps on the on the edges we are just going to use some uh, wood filler this is the Elmer's one that we'll be using so for filling these holes, we are just going to use our hands, take some of the wood filler and then as you can see here, just swipe this here and wipe the excess off and that just fills the hole and it becomes more seamless. For the frame, we are going to fill these nail gun holes but we will also fill these corners and then just go over the gap a little bit just so there's no gap after it's painted and it looks like it's just one piece of the frame and just wipe off the excess and then now it looks more more seamless and the wood filler is all dried up but there are some places where it is not um, seamless and it's not plain for uh, painting over so we have this 120 grit um, sand block and we are going to use this to lightly sand this full area so we'll just do quickly sand it After 
the sanding, uh, the next step is to apply the caulking. So, like you see, there either there are some small gaps uh, in between the baseboard and the wall. Basically, the wall is not straight, so we fill these gaps with this uh, caulking. So this is Alex Plus Acrylic Caulk, uh, and this comes in a tube. I just cut it with a utility knife. Um, you don't need a caulking gun for this one. So very simple to apply. Uh, just make sure that you have a wet rag with you. So just start applying a small bead of cork Oops. yeah right along the edges and don't worry about if any spots are missed we can always come back and fill those up Uh, next is we just wet our fingertip uh, with this rag and then just give a quick pass over the cork and all the excess cork will come yeah so this is all the excess cork and we can just wipe it is complete we did a good um, wipe on these trims and on the baseboard which we have installed upside down um, so we are ready to start with the painting and the paint we'll be using is the same which we have done for our office which is this Beher Alkyte semi gloss enamel um, it's a custom color but a kind of a white uh, tint to it so uh, even though this is a drywall so everything below this will be uh, putting two coats of uh, this paint and then it will uh, look like this hole is a part of is like wood so it gives a, uh, a semi gloss finish and it looks really different paintbrush instead i'll be using this four inch foam roller um, all across and for the corners or small edges these are foam brushes We have done two coats of semi-gloss paint down here on the wainscoting area and then on top on the wall we have done some matte paint just did one coat here just to finish up some scruffs and scratches that it had and now the whole room is looking all fresh and this is a good way to uplift your room and make it look more expensive and it didn't cost too much um, all we needed was some pieces of wood um, and that too not much we didn't have to cover the whole area just some uh, baseboard some of these trims and just some paint that we already had lying around so it was a very inexpensive way to change out our whole room hope you like this idea and uh, if you did let us know what you like and we'll see you again for our next video thank you bye